Hello, hello, and welcome back, everyone, to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as the Imperial Japanese Navy. Now, joining exactly where we left off previously on the live stream, once again, thank you very much to everyone who joined for that. Um, we are thinking about invading Taui Taui. In fact, we are invading it. We have some supplies, preliminary supplies, already on Taui Taui, 5.1 thousand there, which is absolutely brilliant going over to Cebu to pick up some troops for that. I think we're going to pick up, um, I've got the feeling 5,000 troops should be enough to take Taui Taui, but we shall see. Certainly try and balance out, bring some uh, troops over there to match these supplies there, or even just uh, get some um, a little less troops than we do supplies, because we are of course going to burn through those quicker. Um, we do need to pick up, uh, if we do that, we do have some troops of course on Del Monte as well. We have a few things as well on Puerto Princesa. We should be coming in as well, if I can find them, some minor resupplies coming with some engineering and fuel for Puerto Princesa. Uh, what do we have over here? We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of supplies and a few troops over here. So that's absolutely fine over there. We certainly have the troop count in the immediate area. So these supplies are absolutely needed for Taui Taui. Now, I actually want to get on to the attack um, as quickly as possible. With Task Force 129, we are going to wait for these destroyers to come in. Uh, which we're looking for a possible submarine, but I think we're going to try and abandon that because we're going to bring our CVs down as well. We're going to take the Yamato Task Force and the CVs, go on the offensive, and do a almost a Japanese uh, scouting mission around Rabul. Um, a very light Japanese operation cartwheel. Without the invasions, but we will scout around, try and perhaps bombard Rabul, get the uh, airfield down a bit, and see if we can spot those bloody American carriers which have uh, invaded us this entire playthrough. We'd also have, I did not name the task force, we will name it now. A very, very basic name indeed, but we are going to name it the Base Scousers. We have a few hundred troops here, um, a couple hundred supplies, just to uh, make that a somewhat even ratio, so that we can have a look at the balance of power, see um, where roughly a thousand troops gets us on all of these bases over here in the Dutch East Indies so that we know for future where we can attack and what sort of uh, forces we need to take those on. So the idea with this task force is to drop off everything we have on each base, look at the balance of power, um, have a think about or evaluate the strength there and take off the and immediately take back the troops and supplies and put them onto another uh, base. So we're going to be base hopping very uh, regularly, very frequently with this group as, of course, a scousing group. Very straightforward there. Not going to commit to any invasions with this group. This is just a scousing group. We will push that in. So we are really hoping to get on to the invasions now because it's been a very stagnant uh, roughly 100 days or so I think we've been here uh, since we really took any major bases. The last major base was indeed Puerto Princesa after deciding we didn't want to take Manila. And we might adopt a uh, allied strategy here from the war of bypassing some of the major uh, fortifications until later on. Uh, so we might actually want to do a very risky maneuver and go straight up to Manila and reclaim our supplies there that the Americans and allies have so graciously looked after for us. So I think that's really about it to, uh, to say today. We've got our engineering supplies coming back up to refuel. We've got a few things to look out for over here. Uh, possible invasion fleet is coming in. Uh, so we do need to watch out there, get the scouting going and such. But it is uh, night time at the moment. So I'm actually, these uh, Jakes and such uh, should really be coming back home. Rather interesting that they're out and about at the moment. How are we looking on Kure? Uh, not too bad. We have recently been resupplied. So it might take some troops. And of course, engineering and fuel must come down as well. We're just waiting here. Mm, do we take anything with this? Uh, I don't really think so just yet. I think we wait for now until we get bulk uh, troops and supplies on this uh, task force. The regular, uh, the regular engineering 
and resupply task forces can do their jobs over there. Uh, a very minor address at the moment is some people do ask why do I focus on Kure and not uh, things like Sasebo and Yokosuka over here. Um, Kure is the only home port we have and therefore the only one that gets resupplied weekly for those that don't know. Uh, so Sasebo over here, while historically and uh, really it should be a major port. Um, this is only level three, so it doesn't get resupplied. It can do repairs, but we do need to put the fuel and engineering on that manually ourselves. It doesn't have a great pool to take from naturally. And it's the same with your Costco over here. In fact, actually only a level two port, which is a little underwhelming, uh, but not to worry there. It just means we can't pull from that. We can't make any real use of that. We can make use of the level five airfield if we have some uh, scout planes on there to uh, do some home front scouting. But that's about it really. Same with Busan actually, it's only level two ports with no airfield. And things like Shanghai and Qingdao over here, pretty much the same story there. A shame we can't uh, pull onto uh, the massive, about a million men I believe, were constantly in the quagmire of the Chinese war there, uh, but uh, it's unfortunate we can't pull on them here. So let's get going and uh, hopefully we can uh, make some advances today. Well, our task force of two submarines scouting the Dutch East Indies has come across a small task force here, clearly a fighting task force, but nothing too much of a major threat here. We have a Brooklyn and an Atlanta. You can see we're targeting the Atlanta at the moment. We are just going to take the seconds to identify that very quickly. There we go. So we're only going to try and hit the Atlanta today. I don't think we're going to bother with the Brooklyn just yet. Uh, like I said, it's not the most threatening task force. It is out of position just at the very south of the Dutch East Indies. Uh, so we are going to take our time here. We're going to stop here and just wait for that to come into range at a decent angle. We're going to fire off, I think, four torpedoes. There's a one degree spread at the moment. We do have a decent stock of 11 torpedoes waiting there. So we are going to retreat with the I-27. That has already dived down to 50 meters and it's just going to bug out and uh, get into a safe position there. The sea state is four with a visibility of 80% maximum. Very decent wind speed as well, but that shouldn't matter too much unless you do start some massive uh, deck side fires. So uh, once again, just waiting for this to uh, get into range. Otherwise, it's just a few destroyers here. Nothing really um, heavily worth guessing here, but I do like to try and guess Atlantis by stealth where possible. Um, for obvious reasons, being there, massive amounts of AA fire will really, really help uh, this task force against any incoming air attacks. Although uh, this task force with so many destroyers is made of dual purpose uh, guns here. So we're just going to skip ahead until we're in firing range here. Okay, so we are now within firing range. The only bit of news is that we did sight some fighters about, so we had to dive down to 20 meters, but it's absolutely fine. We did evade detection there. We have a lead of 11, decreasing down now to uh, 10 degrees there. If I can get my words out, so I think we're just gonna fire as it is. Get the four torpedoes out. Very, very nice indeed. And very simply, go to silent dive down to 60 meters and try and get, we want to split up our submarines really, so rather than go to their rear, we're just going to go over here at a decent speed to begin with, we go to 5 knots until our torpedoes hit or we're detected of course. Just wondering a little bit now that we don't want to hit this uh, British destroyer over here with our torpedoes, it's a little bit on the worrying side, but I think that should be fast enough that that does not get hit. I think we're worrying over nothing there. It's not looking too bad at all there, is it? So they're definitely going to miss. So uh, fingers crossed we get this Atlanta nice and easy. Let's remind ourselves how many Atlantas we have left because I don't think we've sunk too many. So one, two, three, and that's about it. So that's absolutely fine. And there we 
go. One dud actually on that Atlanta, but it was scuttled in the end. Uh, did succumb to massive crippling damage on the rear of the ship. So let's get going. Very, very happy with that result indeed. Lovely two command points. Not that we're overly pressed for those. They're really pushed actually uh, to get some decent use out of those. We sighted some sort of enemy task force over here. Uh, which is not good. We need to see where that goes and actually scout that out to see what it is uh, in particular. Going to get some Emily's out for that. Uh, suggesting that it's a cruiser group, not only with the uh, denotation of the uh, image there, but with the scouts coming off as well. So get some Emily's out with four 500 kilogram armor piercing bombs each. Go in there. You can see some bombers coming out. Looks like they are going northwards, so we shouldn't need to press our attack. We should be able to invade them with our invasion supplies here as we go up to sea. But it's interesting they've gone off of radar uh, until now. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can hit something here. We should be in range. Here we go. Yeah, right on top of them, which is not ideal to start with. Uh, what do we have then if we pause? We do have uh, largely a destroyer group. Do I see a county over there? I think I do, but we also have an Omaha and we do certainly do have a county. I think the county um, is the ship to go for and uh, we're going to do that right now. We're going to slow down a tad so that we do get some uh, decent turn time if possible. We're also going to line ahead and see if we can drop these manually hopefully. So get the turn in because we did not order that in time. Compress time a tad because this, this is going to take some time to get in with the slow Emily's, but we are now going to increase our speed again. I think we need to uh, really double check how we're going to do this properly. I would love for a lengthways attack here. We're going to increase our altitude a tad, just throw off the enemy AA as much as possible. But if we can't go for a lengthways attack, we're just going to go in as possible. I do want to be able to drop some bombs today. Uh, going for the county because that is the uh, greatest target here. Might want to go for a line of breast and really go for that. Uh, otherwise, to be honest, it's not ideal. Certainly not ideal. We've already lost an Emily, but I think we are going to go for the line of breast attack here. And just try and drop as uh, quickly as possible if we can, really. Hey, lost another Emily. So that's actually the lead. So it doesn't really matter what formation we're in now, does it? It only matters that we get the bombs hit. I'm just going to pause very quickly as you zoom in here. And try and get some sort of alignment. That's not looking too bad. Just turn in a tad there and drop. That may have missed. Just uh, feeling around a little too much there. But we just need to speed up and get out now. But uh, to be honest, losing two Emilys there, not one, while it's not the biggest blow, certainly frustrating. Certainly frustrating. So close to actually dropping there. And he had just dropped a little too late there, which is rather unlucky. But one or two bombs would not have done a hugely significant amount of damage there. So nothing, nothing gained, but uh, certainly nothing uh, really huge lost. Can replan these Emilys absolutely fine. We do have some supplies and such coming in uh, later on for that. So uh, let's go back. Uh, these uh, This group is retreating. How are we looking on uh, Cebu, was it? So we can certainly replenish uh, those planes. It's absolutely fine there. It's really not a problem. Uh, we have been quite a while in the driving seat of this campaign, really, in terms of numbers and such. So we can absolutely afford to lose some airfield planes there. It's really not a problem. Um, what we, is a problem is these unsighted task forces over here. Uh, once again, I might want to rush our supply interceptors uh, over to Okinawa. We'll send them over here so that uh, gives us more scouting in this area. We should have some, we certainly do have some planes free over here. We should absolutely be using those for scouting. We have a 945 range on our hibises over here. So let's use that to our advantage. Just send them out in most obvious directions. I think we need to send them out to the gaps as well. And our scousing is absolutely the primary objective here. It's wondering exactly where they're coming from is the question. I don't think they're going to come too south uh, westerly here. It is, of course, more 
from Okinawa, not Okinawa, Iwo Jima rather. So I think we're going to send this one uh, somewhat northwesterly. And just come around like so. That should do for now. We have the added scouts from our supply interceptors. That should be fine, really. Uh, put some marker down here because it looked like a CV was coming in. But uh, no such luck was only a couple cargo ships, unfortunately. So we're going to come back with these Emilys and leave them to it. We are going to just push down with our Yamato and such and our carriers. How are our carriers looking for uh, planes? We might want to just restock at truck on the way. We can certainly afford that uh, so that if we do encounter anything large towards uh, the Solomon Islands, we will be able to uh, engage them absolutely fine. I don't think we need to uh, restock anything on our ships over here. So we're looking all good there. Let's get going. And just as a very quick note, uh, just outside of Midway, it looks like we've spotted the uh, North Carolina, which we've clearly previously hit over here, but not managed to sink. Uh, rather unlucky there, actually, that we didn't manage to sink it, because it is on heavy to heavy, and so is the Brooklyn. If we can find that, um, I can't see where it is. Cannot see where it is at all. Is it the leadership? Yeah, it's leading ship. It appears to actually be stuck. Rather nasty there. But yeah, looks like they are going back to Midway to repair, which is just nice to have that confirmation, actually. Very, very nice indeed. We'll leave those to it with our scouts there. And at the turn of the next day, um, our base scouters are at Saigon. Let's uh, unload everything we have, just to take a quick peek over here. Um, okay, so that's not so bad, actually. I think if we had perhaps uh, one and a half thousand troops and matching supplies, that might actually uh, do the trick there. Uh, so not too bad at all. It is just a case of supplies there with the poor defensive power of a level one and one over here. So let's uh, reload everything here. If we manage cargo, just bring them out. Very nice little scouting mission there. But uh, to be honest, we do need, I think, a lot more to get an effective scout operation from these ships. So we might actually convert our supply interceptors over here um, into another group of scousers. But that's absolutely fine for now. What we're going to do is go over to this Brune over here. It certainly is. And having said that, because our supply interceptors aren't doing a hell of a lot otherwise, they're mostly sat idly by, let's go over here, reinforce them with a couple more light cruisers, I think, and destroyers, and just uh, make use of our pitiful uh, supplies and such over here to just bring that up, and they can work in unison then in tandem, which is absolutely brilliant. We are starting to get into Rebel as well with our Yammer, so did resupply with our CVs. So we're probably going to want to pull out a little bit and wait for our CVs to come around, uh, because we will attract the attention of these two airfields here. Here. Okay, so we do have a small situation here. We got ourselves a surface battle. It appears that county group we saw previously around the Dutch East Indies um, and Cebu rather uh, has come over towards Guam. So we did see this coming uh, a little bit. So we have managed to reinforce ourselves with some Donrus. Um, I think their target is going to be uh, the Cleveland over here because I think. Even though the county does have some 8-inch guns, the Cleveland has a good volume of guns and some rather good rates of fire. How far away are we? Let's double check. We are 12.3 kilometers away from them, which is fairly close quarters. They can absolutely wreak some havoc on us. So we've uh, targeted the Cleveland with our Mutsu and our Chokai so far. We've also targeted the county with our Nagato and our uh, Miyoko, the Suzia is firing at the Cleveland. We have our Jinsu firing at the Jervis along with a few destroyers and the rest of our destroyers are firing at the Marne over here. We will take the time to uh, identify things later on as we feel the need to, but at the moment this is a skirmish to down the cruisers and then retreats uh, if possible before we take any d losses ourselves. Our destroyers are very much at risk at the moment. So we're going to move our uh, Donrus already towards the Cleveland. I think we're going to line ahead for that at the moment. And we're going to do the same uh, with this group as well. If we just uh, target the Cleveland, I really don't want that to be about for too long today. Slow this one down a tad. Just uh, stagger our drops a little bit to make this a bit easier. 
Uh, we have ordered some smoke and some firing orders already and we're going to start uh, maneuvering over to our starboard side to try and get some torpedoes off if possible from our destroyers and outlining cruisers on this line. Already firing out with our battleship's guns which is excellent. Uh, that was of course the Nagaso still were aiming with our Mutsu over here. The enemy has already got some shots out towards us. They do have uh, the advantage of rate of fire and such. Looks like our Donneries need to come round um, a different angle here. It looks like the enemy is going to turn rather harshly to their port side here. We're going to come from both angles then to dilute their AA just a tad. Just a tad. We're going to bring in, we do have, where is our Pete over here? can help dilute the AA and of course bring some more solid uh, visuals over there because we're going to be obscuring ourselves a little bit with this smoke of course. Now how's this Kagero doing? It does have a fair solution at 56. I might want that to increase a little bit uh, before we fire off any torpedoes but we get those ready. We fire those off as a 2 degree spread. That would be quite a nice uh, spread at this distance I should think. Wait for at least a 60. That's up but I do want a solid 60. It looks like they're firing Primarily this cargo, so we're gonna to have to watch out for that. How are we doing over here? There are we getting close at all with any shots? Not just yet by the looks, but you can see the rate of fire of this Cleveland really, really horrible there. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. We can hope that keeping the Donneries in play means that the uh, enemy uses their dual, for, uh, dual purpose guns against our planes rather than our ships. You can see the Kagero has already taken some nasty damage, some nasty flooding actually. Take this off and put that onto the flooding. And yeah, our horrible solution over here, I think we just fire as we are if possible, should have a solution over there to fire off. Might need to turn out a tad. Very nasty explosion already. This Kagero may well go down. Let's turn out a little bit more and uh, bring, I think, these Donneries in to attack, actually. If we tell them to attack from here, looks like we've got some sort of hit onto the Cleveland here. Very nice. Another one there. Looks like either some secondaries or some cruiser shells have hit that, so that's very nice indeed. Uh, that should start to slow down a tad, but it is only uh, still at 23 knots. We're going to do this Mangly once again. Are our bomb doors open? They certainly are. So we're going to just slow down a tad, if possible. Like so. Just get that so that we can uh, move onto that target indicator a little easier. As of course we've had so much like previously. Let's make sure our bomb doors are still open. They absolutely are. Let's get everyone under control here. And if we can get this attack off, we should be that much safer with our destroyers, of course. It's not looking great at the moment, though, is it? Slow down a tab more there. And I think it's another turn in here. Just turn like that and drop here. Should be alright on that first attack there. Let's turn round and out here. Let's watch our second group, of course. We are firing off our torpedoes with the Kagero. How's that looking? Because we do need to get the Mutsu turning back round here so we can all fire out properly. That's very, very nasty indeed, isn't it? That is just going to go down, unfortunately. It's sad to say. Uh, let's try and get some torpedoes out with our Suzia. Going to do the same. Three torpedoes on our port side. Two degree spread. Decent solution onto the Cleveland. Fairly decent onto their uh, general formation there. Just about missed with our bombs, I think, there. But it should get some splash damage. It was very, very close indeed. So I think that Cleveland might be going down somewhat soon. We're actually going to target the county then uh, with the remaining Donneries there. If we take a report, uh, Cleveland is heavy to heavy, which is very nice indeed. Makinami is also taking some damage by the looks of things. Let's keep having a look around. Mm, that's moderate from previous battles, not taking anything just yes. Very, very luckily indeed. Gonna have to watch out for our formation. It is rather mixed now that we have messed around our uh, leading ship's directions. A tad. Just watching that. Hmm. 
Looks like the enemy destroyers are firing at our planes, which is actually ideal. It means our destroyers are that much safer. But they won't be safe for long if we don't watch our formation, I don't think. So we're going to give that a little bit of attention. And while we're under less fire, we're going to free up ourselves and stop laying so much smoke. Uh, Kagura is going to go down, unfortunately. Look at all the fires and flooding. Cannot keep up with this, unfortunately. Uh, pretty much uh, nothing operational. There are a couple of back guns operational. Of course, launched our torpedoes out there. How's that Cleveland looking? If we hold out here very quickly. Um, I think what we do is we tell the uh, Suzy over here to just overtake the Kagura and pull round. Makinami, I think, can do the same. If you pull out to go at full speed. Uh, and I think the Shiratsu, if we pause here, Shiratsu, uh, Miyoko, and Sashio. If we bring this up here. Come on, there we go. I'm just bringing them up over here. They can line ahead into a separate formation and get themselves moving properly here. Just move that around, it should be okay there. Get some decent order on. And I think we tell these guys to attack now, just so we don't have to worry so much in a second. And with our Mutsu, we had on hold. I think we try and get a manual out, but the Cleveland is actually sinking, and that is a massive boon for our fleet. So we're immediately going to start getting some spotting fire over here. We're going to change our targets to this uh, county, uh, most likely over here. We'll get some spotting on that for the moment. Uh, this was actually on spot, and we're going to start firing uh, normal narrow shots here to hit. Uh, directly here. We are taking some minor damage on the Nagaso, so we're going to need to watch out for that. Uh, just keep going over here, I think. Uh, where was the... Where did I move the Miyoko to? It is over here. Just make sure that's firing without spotting. Fire for effect there, of course. Uh, this destroyer over here looks like it's in a bit of a pickle. The Marne certainly is. Look at that. Nice concentrated fire there. The Jervis isn't doing... As bad, as bad as we'd like, but not to worry. Not to worry. How we're doing over here, we can see the amount of shells coming in for that county. It's very nice indeed. We should be dropping very, very soon indeed. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's tell these guys to turn out back round to the enemy's flank. Thank you very much. And just keep sight on there because the peat has been lost over there. Very silly indeed. Uh, the Marne, if we look at the map over here, uh, County suffers some direct bomb hits, that's absolutely brilliant, should have been watching that, but the Marne has just uh, narrowly avoided some torpedoes there, and those bombs were 1,000 uh, kilogram bombs, oh, eight, eight, 1,000, that's very heavy, 800 kilograms, I do apologise, should know this by now. Looks like its guns are out of action, which is excellent, the main guns are not firing or moving. Some of them possibly misplaced and it is sinking. So, do we stick around for the destroyers? I think we at least uh, get the Jervis and the Marne because they are somewhat damaged already. Uh, so we can get those down and then retreat before we take anything too major. Uh, the Kagura over here will be scuttled by the looks of things. Uh, so that's going to lay some smoke and really uh, just stop, I think, which is extremely risky. But there's not a lot we can do for that, unfortunately. So, what are we doing over here with our formation? I think we're doing fairly decently. Um, just double check. Let's turn out over here. Make sure we're doing the same with the Makinami so we don't hit our own formation. Looks like the enemy is somewhat retreating there. Excellent. Excellent. Pull out round. Just come round with uh, Mutsu. Uh, Jinsu and Nagasa might need to be wary of each other. What we'll do is a slow down attack here. No information, but it's going to be interesting there. So we make sure we put evade hazards on here very quickly. Look at that poor Kagura. That is going down for sure. But we do need to make sure we're changing our targets now to be more effective. I think for the Jervis here, we'll fire some HE over here. 
uh, Mutsu can certainly start firing some HE as well. Get everything firing there. Uh, Chilka is firing. Just make sure the uh, secondary is firing on that. And we'll do some more on the Jervis here. That's the primary concern because that's not taking quite so much damage. Uh, Jinsu's doing absolutely fine. Just double check everything else. Uh, Miyoko can fire onto the Marn. Uh, Sasha should be firing on that as well. That's absolutely brilliant. Okay, so with that, uh, the Jervis and Marn sunk very quickly. Very nice magazine explosion on that Jervis really helped us out there. Could have taken a lot longer otherwise. Um, surprisingly, the Kakado did actually survive, of course, on critical damage and heavy flooding. Makanami's in a very similar situation there. So they should be sent straight back to uh, Kure to rest and repair. Very much needed there. Um, but I very actually very very happy that we didn't lose a destroyer in that um, because it's becoming a bit of a trend in our surface battles uh, to lose a destroyer so very happy indeed let's get going very very nice um uh, let's take the makinami and kagero here we go uh, split group and we will send those back i think what we'll do is we will where are we guam defense um mara puts one Akizuki in there and reinforce with another destroyer, maybe another Kagado, because I do like Kagados. Uh, give them an Akizuki so we do have that also loading power and the air radar, of course. So let's go for that. Uh, Akizuki, yes, please. Do we have a lot of Kagados remaining? Certainly do. Actually, only lost the one and only a few in active service. So we do have a lot of those to draw upon. Send those back uh, to Guam. And I think we'll send Guam Defense to rearm in the meantime there. Let's carry on for a little bit longer because I do want to land some troops on Tawi Tawi at least for this episode. And undercover at night at 0137 hours, um, our base scouters are at Brunei. So let's unload all cargo and see what that's looking like, shall we? Definitely much worse than uh, uh, previously at uh, Saigon, but that's pretty much what we can expect. We are, like I said, going to need some heavier scouts over here. Um, but this does suggest there's quite a few troops on uh, Brunei over here. So we'll come back to that later, I think, with uh, more troops and supplies to scout us out properly but it's nice just to get a little look a little sneaky peek at what the what the enemy does have over here so uh next target is uh uh kuching over here does have a level four airfield be very lucky not to have launched an aircraft at us so far very strange but also very lucky gonna bring our carriers down here just to support our uh invasion supplies a little bit because uh, we will be making that in the daytime uh, if we don't get intercepted by aircraft once along how long is it going to take 11.4 hours definitely going to get intercepted be very uh, surprised if we didn't so let's get going well as expected we have sighted what appears to be torpedo bombers over our uh, supply escorts over here so we are going to full speed ahead with our zeros um, if they are in fact uh, torpedo bombers we should send one or two groups to uh, torpedo attack altitude like so and we're going to send some zeros at an altitude at the minute just to scout that because we don't have any air radar so we are going to go at uh, most directions they should be coming from a um, forwards bearing over here of around 210 to 240 here we go. So what do we have? We have some what appears to be Kitty Hawks to begin with. Um, hmm. Dive down with the uh, furthest groups, that's the problem. I think we could have to uh, just assume they're going to be dropping on. It looks like they're going for a dogfight here. 
Okay. Well, we'll leave that for a second if they go for the dogfights. What we can do is send out this squad against this one fighter here. Uh, the next uh, squadron can go for the number three. And uh, we will just turn around in a second. Uh, increase our altitude a tad here. It doesn't look like there's any torpedo bombers just yet. Should have sighted them by now, I'd have thought. And what we'll do is we'll curl back round with this group before we tell them to engage. Bring them into these zeros over here. And with these zeros, we can go to their flank and start engaging like so. So we have people on the three, so we'll send this one over to the one and two like so. Make sure that uh, we do turn around and we will slow down a tad over here so we get a tighter turn. Should all be good. Looks like we're on a good altitude with the uh, other zeros at the moment. What we can do now is actually engage. We'll go for the number one over here just with our whole squadron. Don't need to be too uh, methodical and precise with that. Uh, did I actually tell them to attack? It must do, because, yeah, okay, just uh, just uh, manoeuvring. Just manoeuvring a bit better there. It's absolutely fine. Uh, lost a zero already, which is rather annoying. And unlucky. How are we doing over here? Can we get in? Come on. There we go, lovely stuff. So that's one down. Uh, losing any zeros is not good because we did lose some zeros previously from uh, this says we have over here. Um, so we only had 12 in total, which are here. So now we're down to 11. Not so ideal. Not so ideal. This is why I want to upgrade Puerto Princesa to a level 3 uh, port, I think, so that we can maintain a good presence out here in the Philippines. There we go. Very nice little uh, shot there. Should only be a couple planes left. Let's try to get on the backs of them. Do have a couple zeros targeting the number three. And everyone should be targeting him now because it's the remaining plane. The single plane left is excellent. Should be on the back of that. There we go. Lovely stuff. So, let's get out and uh, we should see if there's some uh, torpedo bombers coming. There we go. Four out of four. Did lose one plane, unfortunately. Rather nasty indeed. Let's get going. Okay, so with our Yamato task force closing in on Rabul to actually bombard it, that is a decision we're going for now. Um, we have launched some Zeros to escort them. Uh, they are a little mispositioned for this attack. Uh, we're just before we send those in. We are, of course, do have our radar active. We're going to lay some smoke out. And I think we're going to have to start turning, aren't we? What do we have here? A loss, a loss, a loss. -er. Uh, bombers coming in, which is great. And we have some mariners. We have some torpedo armed Catalinas over here. Um, it is unfortunately the mariners which are going to be a problem here. Going to stop our auto fire over here because they've sent out uh, some single walruses over here and such. That's rather interesting. Mm, suggests there uh, might be some ships close by. I forget exactly uh, what sorts of planes. The uh, Rebel uh, Calvin bases have. You have to uh, target this and I think turn out a tad. Turn out over here. It's a wide angle there, but not to worry. And I think we're going to have to focus on zeros, unfortunately, uh, on the Catalinas. I don't think they're going to make us in time to get to the uh, Mariners, although I will give us a shot uh, because they're going to have to turn as well. We do have 24 zeros out. These are from the Shokaku. Gonna have to try at least. Give it a good old college try. Just give uh, a few zeros for this formation here. Gonna give a few zeros for this. Certainly do have them to spare. So we can afford to send them over, I think. Um, like I say, we'll just make sure that focus on the Catalinas as well. They are armed with torpedoes. So what we're gonna do is um, very cheeky and send our uh, zeros off of fire at will, bring them down as one large group just to make it easy to manoeuvre. Uh, slow down their speed a tad and bring them I think down directly towards the Catalinas and we can target them in just a second. 
uh, the other Zeras really should be going at full speed. Really should be going because they have a lot of distance to cover. A lot, a lot of distance to cover. And hopefully, with our also fire flak turned off, we should be firing once we're in range at the Mariners. How are we looking? We're not firing just yet. Perhaps we're not in range. To be fair, we're actually not with 20 kilometers distance there. So the walruses, while they are armed with bombs, they're not making any advances. Or oh, this one might well be. Might well be, but they are only minor bombs. I'm not so worried about them. Not so worried about them. Okay, just watching our formation as well. We should be... Yeah, we're at a good uh, altitude to sort these out now. So, we're going to start targeting them. And we have just uh, issued all of our orders. We're going to skip over that a little bit to uh, just uh, skip some of the tedium of this game. I'm sure it's not overly exciting to watch me just click a load of buttons all the time. But we should be making contact with these uh, Catanese before we make contact uh, with the Mariners, of course. Um, it is looking a bit like the scouts over here are going for our ship. So we are going to turn on also fire uh, flak to focus on them. We're going to keep our smoke nice and thick. If we take a perspective from the enemy over here, we can see we are covered in smoke over here, which should really help us. We do have some very nice firing angles on them. Uh, but once again, not the primary concern here. This is, of course, the uh, torpedo and bo heavier bomb armed planes here, which are a problem. And while the American torpedoes are less reliable than our glorious long lance Japanese torpedoes, uh, still don't want them on the f uh, flank of our ships, do we? Certainly not. Uh, we've made some very good angles on these uh, Catalinas, actually, coming directly from their flanks. Very, very nice. It's exactly what you like to see. So we are downing them fairly easily, as you can see here. So with that being said, I think what we should do is take our stragglers over here, which have downed some planes, to actually go for some mariners, maybe even some scouts over, just to help pick those off. So they're not entirely idle, and we don't have too many planes chasing the same enemy over here. I get some long shots out here. Very nice indeed. And that is all of the torpedo bombers down. So what I'm going to do is going to once again I think form up over here like so just make things a little easier increase that altitude come round and just try and get rid of these planes over here not entirely sure what this Akazuki is doing we're going to have to be very careful with that with our formations it's slowly turning to evade I think are we dropping just yet not entirely sure might be uh, for this uh, got a Nami over here, we're going to turn around for that. It's like they're going for a battleship over here, no, not a battleship, uh, getting the uh, <laughs> truly historical uh, um, misidentification here. See how difficult it is for these pilots. But they're not dropping, which uh, is doing us a massive favour, and we're getting on top of these uh, mariners by the looks of it, which is excellent. So they do have some rather nasty uh, defensive capa uh, capability. See if we can remember how to speak. Rather nasty defensive capabilities over here, getting well ahead of myself. To apologise. Uh, but we're going to sort out our formation over here, slow down the Akazuki because that's just really not good. We'll sort out these uh, scouts. We just tell this one to attack because he's on the flank there, and that should be about it, really. Not too bad at all then. Is that everyone? Let's take a report. 24 out of 24 without a single loss. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant indeed. No need to stick around. Let's leave. Okay, so we should now, a few hours after that air attack, be in range to unload our cargo on Taui Taui. And that is our troops now. So let's see at the balance of power just over halfway. So uh, with 3.9 thousand troops, I think that should be absolutely fine. We're certainly going to retreat back to uh, Cebu over here, pick up a few more supplies, I think. Because like we say, as we've seen in the uh, previous uh, invasions, our supplies will run down very, very easily. 
But uh, as long as we can keep on top of that, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Taui Taui will be ours within a few days time. That's absolutely brilliant, exactly what we're looking for there. And once again, a few hours later, uh, very minor skirmish in the air as well later, um, we are ready to bombard Rabul. Excellent. So let's go to shore bombardment, or we've reduced something. We have reduced their airfield level, which is absolutely brilliant, which means we can escape under cover of night very soon without so much problem there. We are going to conserve our ammunition, no need to bombard that once again today. So we are going to be very, very nasty and scout around deep into Guadalcanal and the Solomon Islands and such and have a look for the enemy carriers and such, see if there is any naval activity over here at all. But I think that is indeed all we have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Certainly starting to make some progress now with another invasion on the way and some deep territory scousing going on. Um, it's a long, been a long time coming. I'm going to try and break the stagnation of this campaign now. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Edified Gamer, and I hope all of your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.